26 million dead, 40 million infected, and the continent of Africa devastated. In 20 years, AIDS has become the worst medical catastrophe ever experienced by humankind. When you stop and think, 100 million people in the next 50 years are going to die of HIV disease prematurely. It's not a disease like cancer of old people. It's a disease of young people. And it's one of the great human tragedies of all time. The West has ignored it. Ronald Reagan ignored it. George Bush Sr. ignored it. Bill Clinton ignored it. And it has spread and spread and spread and spread. The origins of AIDS remain a mystery about which the scientific community has long kept silent. Is it lack of interest or fear of knowing? A few lone voices have asked the question and attempted to break this code of silence. By following in the footsteps of these dedicated men into the heart of Africa where it all began, we were able to relocate the places, trails, and witnesses of one of the worst tragedies we've ever known. HIV, the causative virus of AIDS, was first isolated in 1983 by Luc Montaigne's team at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. Simon Wayne Hobson was part of the team. When this first came, people thought that this bomb from nowhere necessitated sort of novel explanations. And um, no one really knew. Um, there was no cousin, if you wish, to this sort of virus known in the animal kingdom at that point. But a cousin did exist. And in France, in 1989, researchers identified it among chimpanzees. They named it SIV, the simian immunodeficiency virus, analogous to HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. The two viruses' similarities prompted the researchers to designate SIV as HIV's ancestor. And the, the immediate precursor to the, the, the virus that's going around the world is chimpanzees. We all agreed on that. We can discuss when, why, how, but we all agree on the chimpanzee. So when, there is a, I think there's a consensus to say it's this century, where, Clearly, the epicenter in humans is the northeast Zaire, Uganda. This region, in the heart of chimpanzee country, was part of the Belgian Congo during the 1950s. Professor Van de Piet, a Belgian physician, collected human blood samples there in 1959 and gave them to a colleague to test many years later. Et nous avons prélevé euh, presque 2000 sérums d'adultes et c'est beaucoup plus tard qu'il les a donnés à des experts pour voir s'il n'y avait pas de traces de HIV. Or, il y a un laboratoire qui a trouvé un seul sérum séropositif et ça a été confirmé par plusieurs autres laboratoires. Et je crois que dans la littérature en général, on considère ça le premier sérum séropositif pour le sida avant l'ère du sida. Le numéro était L70 et elle vient de Léopoldville. We have the date, 1959, and the place, Léopoldville, former capital of the Belgian Congo, today known as Kinshasa. This first evidence of AIDS emerged more than 20 years before the rise of the HIV AIDS epidemic in America. So if you went back and said, well, HIV is related to SIV, to the monkey AIDS virus, uh, where do humans have contact with monkeys? 
Well, the average person has no contact with monkeys. There are only two ways that you could have contact with monkeys that I can figure. One is you have people who eat monkeys, and in so doing, they clean the monkey and with a sharp knife or a dull knife or what have you and can become infected that way. The other way is is that we still are the